Hey guys, I'm back. What's up, Haley? Hey, I got some unripe tomatoes. Awesome. Have you ever wondered why fruit ripens faster in a brown paper bag? Well, that's the mystery we're gonna solve today. If you don't know what she's talking about, I'll tell you. We're setting up an experiment in which we'll visually record how fruit changes over time in response to different environments. This process takes a long time and we wouldn't really see it if we just glanced at the fruit. But with a bit of time-lapse technology, we can speed up this process. And we can use time lapses to study plant tropisms or how plants change with their environments. I'm ready. Let's go. Heaven, the flower field heaven. Oh, oh God, heaven. I've always wanted to see this. We've got hundreds of thousands of acres of sunflowers right now. So we got the sun over there in the east. It's getting ready to rise. I'm gonna set up a time lapse and see how these heads respond as the sun comes up. And I only got a little bit, so let's get cracking. Come on. So I set up my still camera on top of a hay bale so that I could take a series of images which becomes a time lapse. And what I discovered from doing my time lapse is that these sunflowers at this stage don't actually track the sun as it moves across the sky. But there's a neat phenomenon. Every single one of these heads is pointed in the same direction. But how do they do it? I mean, they don't have brains. And how do they really know where the sun is going to be? but they're definitely responding to some sort of stimuli. Well, to solve this, I'm gonna have to get out of my sunflower field. You see, plants have hormones just like animals have hormones. And plant hormones can be triggered by different environmental factors. When a plant shows directional growth in response to an environmental stimulus, such as light, gravity, or touch, this process is called a tropism. And we can use some advanced camera techniques to study just this. Okay, so right here, I've got some sunflower seeds. I'm gonna give them some light and some water, which are the basic ingredients to grow, and we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens if I change the light so that it doesn't come from above. So a plant is obviously triggered to grow towards the light. It's a type of tropism called phototropism. Okay, now here's another tropism. Watch what happens to the roots of this seed when I turn it on its side. This is a tropism called gravitropism. The roots turn downward towards the pull of gravity. Okay, so other plants have the ability to cling to things. They have tendrils that wrap around objects and prevent the plant from falling over. Now, how does the plant know when and how to grab a hold of something? Well, it's another tropism called thigmatropism. If a growing vine touches a twig, the plant responds to this touch and wraps its tendrils around the twig. While it looks as though plants might be thinking, they don't actually know which way to grow. Let's go find out how tropisms happen in plants. So we're here at the University of Wisconsin to see Dr. Simon Gilroy. So auxin, you can think of as the inducer of growth. It makes things get bigger. And so if I were to spray hormone, that hormone onto a, a plant seedling, it would, the shoot would start getting taller and taller and taller. So when it wants to grow in a certain direction, what it wants to do is make growth occur in a certain place on the plant. Okay. And so the way that you can make that occur is you can make auxin, this hormone, accumulate in that area. So if this is our plant, yeah. and the light is coming from this direction, let's talk about where the auxin is going to be being moved in our, in our plant stem here. Okay, so, so. We have our light source. Your light's coming in. And now you've got to think physics now. You've got to think about cells getting longer and how that, your arm is going to bend. Your arm is going to bend towards the light because that's where light's coming in, photosynthesis. And, and so you've got to make this side get longer relative to this side. And then it will just lever over. Okay. So in the shoot, 
auxin makes cells get longer. So your light's coming in, so if cells have got to get longer, and we want this side to get longer relative to this side, auxin's got to be accumulating on this side of your arm. So these cells are expanding. Yes, and so you'll get longer and bend towards the light. But it's not just phototropism that they study here. In fact, in the back labs, Simon's colleague Edgar studies how roots respond to gravity. And he shows that by tipping the seedling 90 degrees, you induce it to start growing down. And it's all captured with a series of time lapse in his lab. With the back here is an infrared light, which shines light through this auger gel. So it casts an image of the seedling onto this camera, which is sensing the infrared light coming from that backlight. We learned that these experiments provide important scientific knowledge to help us understand how plants respond to their environment via hormones. And we also saw that scientists are using time-lapse technology to help them. And believe it or not, it's a technique we can all use. You ready, Haley? I think we're all set. Right. You like it? Yeah. Thank you. So we've learned that plant growth is affected by factors such as sunlight, gravity, and even touch. And in the same way that we have hormones that make us do crazy things, so do plants. A particular one of these hormones is called auxin. And we've learned from scientists who can actually see auxin and its effect on plant growth. Well, even you can study trophism in plants. All you really need nowadays is a tripod and a camera because many cameras today have a time-lapse function which allows you to visualize things that normally take a long time in only a few seconds. All you gotta do is just leave the camera running and watch the magic. So, that's all the time we have today, friends. Remember, there's a whole world out there waiting for you to discover new things in nature. So, as always, never stop exploring your world. Thank you.